What's up guys? We are here at SHOT Show 2022 with Steve at WorkSharp going over some cool products. Let's talk knives. What's up guys? Here we are with the man Steve. Now Steve at WorkSharp, he is the guy who built, designed, and created the uh, Precision Adjust, right? Yeah. No, that was my... Be, um, we reached a point where you know there's different markets we wanted to be in, right? And there's this whole rock and stone market out there that we weren't in. Um, so we decided yeah. we we're gonna we we're gonna jump into that market, and how could we do it different and bring some innovation? Sure. It's kind of a stagnant sharpening process, right? So uh, I, I gotta say, just first off, this is probably the most used sharpener at Blade HQ. Like glad to hear it. us as as the employees, we use this thing all the time. That's I love awesome. it. Absolutely uh, love it. It's awesome. I Walk agree. us through. Uh, Walk us through. Uh, cool. Yeah, we hit, um, you know, everybody got affected when COVID kicked in. So everybody that worked in the office, you know, we all went home so we could try to keep everybody safe and healthy and keep right. our, our production crew working so we weren't, you know, running any of those risks. So right about the time we had some rough concepts about this, I got sent home with the task of designing the, this chart. Here you go. Do so, this. Yeah, so here I am, you know, we got nine months and I'm sitting in my living room on a bar stool in front of a computer, just me and the dog. Um, and we just started pounding through different prototypes and different ideas. And we've got nine months later, we came out with Precision Just, launched it. it. It's been doing great. Um, yeah, love the sharpener. Um, walk through a quick demo. Yeah, yeah, show Perfect. us, um, show us so how, the to, sharpening, how to get it done. The abrasives here, they're held in with the magnet. There's a carrier here. As you rotate this knob, you adjust your different angles. So you just dial in what angle you want. You have your carrier with the three abrasives on it. They just rotate around, lock in. There's 320, 600, then there's a fine ceramic home. Let's plug that into the bottom of the carrier. I love how easy that is. We, we and do everything all your, tool your stones are right there, like very easy to use. Yeah, we don't want people to have to keep track of tools and pieces and parts. So I'm we that try to guy. make it. Yeah. I'm that guy that loses that stuff behind <laughs> exactly. my workbench. It's gone. Yeah. Exactly. So the clamp held in with pins and magnets and match inside there the inside the rotation cup. We just open the jaws, place your knife in up against that V, hold it closed, and then just turn this knob here, clamp it down, and place the knife back into the rotation cup. Now we've got the knife mounted, angle set. Now we just come in and start making strokes up and down the knife. As you run through your abrasives, you know, you, you create that burr that you're yeah. always talking about when you're yeah. sharpening. You gotta create that burr. So once you do, you push the button on the back, rotate the knife over, and you go back after it with that same abrasive. Now once you create the burr on this side, you'll rotate the knife back over, switch to your next abrasive, you just keep repeating that process over and over until you finish with the ceramic. You pull it out, let it take down the clamp. Okay. You got a sharp knife? I love it. And so with the uh, precision adjust, you guys also have this kind of expander pack, right? We do. Um, we heard loud and proud from all of the customers that the first thing they want is more abrasives. We didn't give them enough to begin with, so they were screaming for us. <laughs> so immediately, we jumped into providing more abrasives. And what we came up with was, we'd already sold a bunch of the precision adjusts. Right. So we came up with an upgrade kit. And with that, so we have two different versions of it. There's an upgrade kit and there's an elite. They both come in this really nice carry case. You unzip it, you open it up, and this is everything that's in there. So this is our elite. This has the actual sharpener in it and all the different abrasives. The upgrade kit, you would still get the case, you get the organizer, and you get all the abrasives in there. You just throw but, your kit yeah, in there. You put your existing kit in right. there. So that's why it's an upgrade kit. I love the packaging, guys. It all fits in there nice and snug. No losing tools. It's really nice. Just pull all the parts out. The packaging just snaps in. Take that little card out. Here we have the abrasives that come with it. So on our coarse abrasive, we have 220 grit, 320 grit, and a 400 grit. 
On the fine, we have a 600, an 800, and the ceramic. And then we have a leather strop with a uh, serration, a little ceramic on there for sharper end okay. of your serrations, too. So That's really it all cool. works the same. You know, after you go through all your sharpening, you come back in, you can plug your, your leather strop in. And now you can come in there and strop and get just an insanely sharp edge. I, I love it. This little guy here, you got a couple Hangs holes. up on the wall. So you can hang it up there. Keeps everything nice and organized. It's all at one spot. Take it on the go. Just everything right there when you need it. Honestly, I think that this design, as far as a sharpener, a quick sharpener, on the go, but you can still really lock down that blade angle, the edge angle, and be able to put a an edge on real quick you know and it's just simple guys honestly like you guys watched him assemble it right there it's simple and extremely effective yeah and the beauty of it is it's repeatable too so next time you need to sharpen that same knife you put it back in you know the v sets the depth you put it back to that same angle right back to the cutting right so the next sharpening happens really fast that's cool okay so we have the pre precision adjust, and then we have the elite, right? So what else do you guys have that you guys want to show the good people for Shot Show? Well, we are currently working on, and we're getting ready to launch uh, into a whole other kitchen market. Oh, nice. So we have some products that are going to come out this spring that um, we can definitely take a quick look at if you'd awesome. like to. Yeah, that'd be so great. Get these out of the way. Guys, here's the thing. We all love knives, even kitchen knives, we start to geek out about. If you guys have an unsharp kitchen knife problem, this might be the solution for you. All right, so we're starting out with a variety of different types of sharpeners. So this first one we have here, this is our kitchen edge, okay? We have convex carbides in slot number one, and it's on a tilt mechanism. So as you pull your knife through, the tilt actually moves forward, exposing the edges of the carbide so you get a more aggressive cut. Okay, that's really cool. The second slot on here are ceramic wheels. So once you sharpen, once you pull through this, the carbide, you've set that edge. Now we're gonna come back over to our fine ceramic wheels, and this is what's going to hone your edge for you. So make a few little passes back and forth, keeps your knife honed up, nice sharp edge, so every night before you go, go into the kitchen to cook, you pull this little guy out, make a couple passes on there, got a fresh clean edge, and you're ready to go. I like that. Simple, so, put it in the drawer, yeah. pull it out. Super compact, you know, it fits over your, see, it has some contouring on the bottom, so it'll fit over the edge of the countertop, so it's really safe and secure, yeah. locks itself in there. I, I have that problem when I do a pull through, I I'll always, I end up pushed too hard and then it goes pop on yep. the counter, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you don't want to come out and come down and bang right. up your kitchen counter. Yeah. Especially if you have granite and then you're darkening up the knife if you're sharp. Right. So, yep, hang that thing over the edge. And when you pull through and you come off, it's out here in space. It's cool watching those move, how you were saying it tilts and adjusts with it as you're pulling. That's really cool. Exactly. Yeah, it just makes it more aggressive, makes the cut better. So, I love it. So, our next one up is our kitchen pull through. So, a little bit larger, you got a nice ergonomic handle, some TPU up here. Yeah. This one's a little bit different. The, the wheels, we, for, the, for the core side, we have diamond wheels in here. Oh, so okay. rather than carbide pull throughs, we actually have diamond wheels, and then we have ceramic wheels for the, for the honing. And then we also have a diamond pad here in the middle and little guides on the side to lay your scissors up against. So you can come back in and you can touch up your scissors also. Oh, that's super so, nice. Yeah, kitchen Honestly, shears yeah, and all kitchen that. kitchen shears. So, those, those are like my go-to. I love those things. They are handy. I'll give you that. But same type of thing. Start here. We're just going to go back and forth. A few time on the diamond on the coarse side. Then we're going to come right back over to the ceramic. And again, the ceramic is where you're going to keep honing your knives each night. Pull your knives out before you start cooking. Right. Give it a quick touch up. I like that. And you're ready to go. And again, it's just super convenient. It hides in the drawer. You pull it out. Really quick touch up, and you're ready. You, know, you keep maintain your knives so you don't have to go back and sharpen them all the time. Right. Well, and to me personally, cooking is a little bit of a task, you know. Can and be. so you're already gonna be doing some work, prepping, right? 
So to have a sharp knife straight out the get go, pull a sharp, you pull this out of the drawer, touch it up like you were saying, and then just put it back away. It's nice. Yeah. Quick most touch of us, it. if it's dull, we're just gonna power through. Right. But if you got something convenient sitting there that you can just quickly touch it up and it only takes a few yeah. seconds, then you keep your knives nice and sharp. Keeping them maintained. That's the most important thing. And speaking of maintaining knives, on to the next one. Ceramic honing rod. I am not good at these. So we got a nine inch rod. Here's the nice thing about this, we can put guides on. Which is huge because is. that's always the question is, how do you hold it and what your what's your motion? Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, because typically you see people you know, they're holding it up and you see that yeah. chef on TV is just oh, yeah. no, 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 really going after it. Yeah. So this one, the idea is we're gonna put this nice rubber tip right here. Gives you grip on your countertop. I recommend doing it over a towel or over a cutting board or something. Right. Again, so you don't come down and you whack into your cabinets, yeah. Yeah, your you countertops. Don't roll that edge. Yeah. So lay your knife flat up, flat up against that guide. And just hold that angle all the way down. This is the one I have in my kitchen that my wife and I use. It just sits right there with all the knives. We pull it out. Quick little touch up. Yep. Give it a quick touch up and you're right back to work. Honestly, I think the guides are genius. That is something that I feel like, at least me personally, I'm sure a bunch of you guys out there can relate, is you pull out the ceramic rod and you're like, okay, hopefully I can just keep this angle the whole time, but then you end up trying to be Gordon Ramsay and you, you know what I mean? <laughs> So honestly, I think the guides are really cool, and it's a good looking rod to pull out of the drawer, you know, to go with your knives. Cool. Then we added some weight in the back to help with balance and just, you know, nice ergonomic feel, it's a good size. And those guides really are, they, they give you the repeatability. Right, exactly. So it, you'll be here all day long trying to sharpen that if you're on the wrong angle, and you'll never get there. Oh yeah. And if you hold it up against that, you can keep that repeatability. Just like you said, you're sharp in no time, and you're off and running. I absolutely love it. Guys, we also don't want to forget mentioning uh, the Ken Onion, the Work Sharp, the Power Tools. Uh, you guys have a tool for literally every type of sharpener. That is our objective. I like that. We need a sharpener for every experience level and for whatever, anything anybody wants to do. We want a sharpener out there for them to solve that for them. I love it. We also have a couple of our powered sharpeners. This is our Kitchen Electric. Okay uses uh, flexible discs to shape the knife. Oh, yeah. So you have guides on each side. And then right down here, the center slot, that is your hone again. That's that the really? ceramic wheels that we we're showing. Let me get this out of the way. That is really cool. So we turn it on, it's programmed for a certain amount of time. Okay. So you turn this on, place your knife in the guide, Lean it in, just keep pulling through. And what it'll do is when it hits the end of that timing cycle, it'll automatically shut off, let you know that you should be sharp. Yeah, you should be good. So you don't That's have to nice. sit here and keep guessing and guessing and guessing. It's like, I don't know, I'm sharp. I feel you like a lot of people chase the uh, the bird. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel, I feel like I am always trying to chase the bird, trying to get that off. And uh, yeah, it's. It can be it can be a struggle sometimes. It can be, yeah. So once we get that fur created with the flexible sharpening on each side, again this slot down the center, we have that same honing set of honing wheels in there. So now that you've created that fur, we come back in with these wheels, and again this is where yeah this is again this is something you can pull out quick. You don't even have to plug it in, right? Since that the honing yeah you is can manual, still right yeah you can just jump straight to the honing. Yeah, you jump right in there. Keep it home. And once it starts getting dull, you know, even after honing, it doesn't feel right. Right. You plug it in, turn it on. A few passes through there, right back to the honing, and you'll be good for a while. And it looks like you guys have a bigger version. We do. So that is our kitchen electric. This is what we call the professional kitchen electric. This one, again, is using flexible abrasives, very similar to our KO and the KTS. Yes. Uh, we have our guides here guides. leather leather line leather line guides oh, nice so helps with any kind of you know if you have really high-end knives you don't want right. to, you, you don't, don't want to see scratches that. or anything exactly. exactly so this works really similar to the to the kitchen electric okay we have our start button here you see the three different programs in here they're shape they're sharpen and there's refine 
So if I push that button three times consecutively, it goes into a faster speed, and okay. that's where you're going to shape your knife so you can get that done quickly. Right. And then it will slow down and eventually turn off yeah. as it runs through that program. That's if you punch it twice, it'll shorten that cycle up just because you just need a quick sharpen. Yeah. And if all you're trying to do is come in there and do a quick touch up, like just honing it, you push it one time, it'll go into the honing mode, it's very slow speed, it's a shorter program, you just keep running through until it shuts off and you're ready to go. You guys are literally taking out all of the guesswork that people are struggling with when they sharpen their knives. For, for guys who don't know how to do it uh, or haven't done it for years, you know, you guys literally are taking out all the difficulties of sharpening knives. And I mean, an automatic program that is timed and shuts off automatically, that's huge. That's really cool. Yeah, we take all the engineering that goes into this. Um, our engineer, Dan Dovel, did a fantastic job on this product. So all the deflection, the abrasives, the belt speeds, the duration, all of that stuff he came up with, engineered and put into this thing. He did a fantastic job. It's super Great. sharp. That's super cool. Man, a lot of really cool, exciting stuff. The kitchen line is very exciting. Uh, we've got kitchen knives on the website. Always check the website and current pricing. But uh, man, you guys have got some awesome stuff, man. I really appreciate you sharing. Steve, it's been a pleasure. Guys, work sharp. SHOT Show 2022. This is what they've got and it is very exciting. If you guys want to sharpen your knives, definitely check out the work sharp line that we have on the website. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, check out the playlist over here for more SHOT Show 2022 action and we will catch you guys on the next one.